Okay, now it's time to meet our final speaker this evening. Known since her college days as a staunch advocate for the youth and volunteerism movement, Gang Badoy Kapati founded a groundbreaking movement and nonprofit called Rock Ed Philippines in 2005. She sits on the founding board of the Mindanao Peace Games and is a mental fitness coach for national athletes under the Philippine Olympic Committee Athletes Commission. Under Rock Ed, she spearheaded Project Steady Asia, a web-wide mental health initiative focused on creative arts therapy and outside the clinic approaches to, to trauma therapy. Training for almost a decade as an art therapist in the maximum security prison, Gang believes that peace and progress are impossible if a nation doesn't prioritize mental health. Gang was recognized as one of the outstanding women in the nation's service or towns and received the 10 Outstanding Young Men Award and so far has been the only Filipino to receive both awards in the same year. Currently, Gang is a Trauma Research Foundation ally, runs a pro bono web web-wide mental health learning program for teachers, coaches, and athletes, recently published a book on athletes during the pandemic, and runs a limited mental health private practice. Gang has an online popular French bulldog named Justice. Gang is the lead trauma therapist and executive director of Project Steady, which is this year's Global Women Who Rules event beneficiary. Let's all listen to her as she talks about what Project Steady does and its mission. Streaming live from Manila, Philippines, ladies and gentlemen, Gang Badoy Kapati. Good evening, everyone. I'm not sure if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Oh, good. Um, alam mo, grabe. Today, we listen to words. We listen to each other. We listen to other women. We listen to stories. We listen to things they know, their expertise, their work. They're being mothers. They're being mothers and wives and sisters and friends who grieve. And I'm thinking, grave, in the bong aron na to, like global women who rule. This is a fantastic and powerful gathering you just uh, hoisted today. So I'm really grateful that I'm part of it. Anyway, magkakwento ako. May kwento ako. I have this good friend, and she went on a date. Tapos, <laughs> habang nandun siya sa date niya, uh, tumawag siya sa akin, as good friends do. Tapos sabi niya, gang, hindi yata niya ako type. Sabi ko, bakit? Uh, nasa banyo siya ang tagal. So sabi ko, can you imagine? There are like a thousand explanations for why her date is in the bathroom long. Like, pwede ang I don't know, ba nag problema sa chan, baka naghugas ng kamay, baka may pinick up na phone call, baka whatever. There were so many other explanations, pero ang conclusion niya, feeling ko hindi niya ako type. Like, can you imagine? That's how intensely unkind we are to ourselves. So, as a friend, what will I say? What will I say to my friend? Ano sabihin ko sa friend ko na gang hindi niya ako type? Ano sabihin ko? Eh, syempre hindi ka niya type, may taba ka sa hita. Eh. I mean, go, oh, no one, no friend says that. We will not say that to a friend, and yet, or you'll say, ah, syempre, hindi kanya type, hindi ka masyadong funny eh, tapos medyo chubby ka pa, tapos ang itim mo pa, kulot mo pa, or whatever. These are the adjectives that we've thrown at ourselves. A good friend will never say that. But you know what? We say that to ourselves. And it's intensely, intensely important for me to tell everyone, sobrang mahalaga to, you have to be, how do I say this? You really need to choose the words you use to describe yourself. Alam mo yung mga days na, ah, dang ako, or ah, kala mo wala lang yun. But when you say something, nagsasend ka ng signal sa brain mo eh. And somehow in the end, pag paulit-ulit yun, naniniwala ka na. I mean, sino ba sa atin hindi nagkaroon ng tita? Ako may tita ako na ganito. Sino ba sa atin hindi nagkaroon ng tita na nagsabi, ang taba mo ngayon? O kaya... <laughs> Kailan ka mag-aasawa? Or um, uh, yung matres mo, hindi <laughs> ka pa nagkakaanak. I mean, sino ba sa ating walang tita na ganun? Lahat may ganun na tita. So, sometimes kala natin hindi nag imprint on us, but it stays, you know? It really stays. And, and hanggang sa pagtanda mo, akala mo lang. Kala mo nakalimutan mo yung nine years old ka, tapos tumawa yung tita mo kasi masikip na yung pantalon mo. And you, you remember that. And I'm thinking... 
I feel very sad. I want to hug all the little girls talaga that encountered something like that. Yung um, nasabihan ng bata na hindi ka maganda or hindi ka funny or hindi ka smart. And then we think it's nothing and we get older and we realize one of these days we say like, oh, bakit ang bagal ko mag-decide? Oh, kasi natatakot ka magkamali. Bakit? Grabe ako mag-diet kasi naalala mo yung mga traumas na yun. So what I really want to say is, after listening to the words, the stories, the expertise, the grieving, the happiness, the joy, and the pride of Alpha, Ruth, Jamie, Mitch, Prue, Mia, Faith, Hasmin, Marites, L, Bea, Leigh, Myrtle, Heidi, Frances, Celia, Shirley, Christine, Clarence, Sandy, and right before me, Doc Avid. When you listen to them, you have to really say, wow, these words are strong. I, I'm grateful I heard them. I'm grateful I listened to them. I too have a story. But you know, it really matters what we, how we describe, our, we describe ourselves. Eh? So I really want to thank everybody who shared their story today. Honestly, how do I say this? One of my best friends died in Madrid two weeks ago. So I'm not really in the best position to, to be exuberant or triumphant because I'm grieving. But, but I didn't cancel. I didn't send a talk. I decided to show up because this is what Filipina women do. We show up. We show up when it's difficult. We show up when there's a chance to say thank you. We show up when there's a chance to say sorry. We show up when there's a chance to honor other women. I'm showing up to honor my mom, who gave birth to 10 children, was widowed at 34 at that time with seven children and pregnant with one. I was born of a strong woman, and I really need to grab every chance I can get na pag may nagsasama-samang kababaihan, kailangan ko talaga sabihin, sobrang galing nyo. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And di ko alam kung kanino kayo naniwala nung bata kayo, pero take my word for it now. Ang lakas natin. Tayo talaga ang bumubuhat ng kalahati ng langit. Tayo talaga yon At International Women's Month ngayon. And I celebrate all humans of any gender identity, LGBTQIA, BCDEFG, HIJK, LMNOP, lahat, because we were all born of women. I really think it's so appropriate that an ob gynecologist spoke before me. First of all, I really need to go and have a checkup. But I really think it's appropriate that an ob gynecologist spoke before me because dun tayo na iilang, dun tayo na, uh, you know, we're so, we're so bothered, we're so awkward with our bodies, but really, we should be so proud. We were all born of a woman. And, and we, women, we show up. We show up kahit mahirap. And sometimes we show up and we're gloriously beautiful when we do, no matter how sad we are, no matter how broken. You can't imagine the 1,000 things I really want to say this, after, this evening. Well, ang dami ko talagang gustong sabihin, lalo sa mga Filipina na na-offend dahil, dahil ang, halimbawa, minsan yung uh, our, the President of the Philippines isn't very respectful of women. Uh, <laughs> I say that nicely. He jokes about rape and violence. He jokes about shooting women in the vagina. Uh, this is not, I'm not, this is not a political tirade. I'm just saying, we, nasanay tayo. Nasanay yata tayo na ganun pag-usapan ng babae. Baka nasanay na tayo na ganun-ganun lang tayo pag-usapan. Baka nasanay na tayo na sinasabi nila, ah, babae, hindi magaling, mahina. Ayoko tayong masanay dun. At baka, you know, our parents may be raised that, that, that way kasi galing sila sa generation na uh, medyo iba. Pero kayo bilang mga nanay, you have to raise your children, not so much as sons and daughters, but as humans uh, who raise each other with respect, who honor each other because everybody deserves honor and politeness, I suppose. <laughs> I think that's so basic. I think heartbroken ako the past five years kasi nakikita ko na tuwing naiinsulto ang kababaihan, nagiging okay lang sa marami, natatawa pa sila kasi funny. 
I get it, nakakatawa yun, but you know, this is the only venue I'll actually say this. Not funny. When we joke about women, when we disparage women, when we diminish women, it is not funny because you diminish the wombs that bore you. We diminish the wombs that bore us. And we can't have that. Minsan nga, feeling ko baka self-hatred, kaya hindi tayo masyado nag-move forward. Dahil ang dami kong gusto sabihin at konti lang yung time ko. At ayoko rin kayo ibor global women who rule. First of all, I really wanted to thank the women who spoke before me, the women who organized this, and the men and the LGBTQIA that organized this Celebrating International Women's Month. I will end with a poem that I memorized. I know, isn't that amazing? Bira ako mag-memorize. Pero may na-memorize ako na tula from the 1990s. Hindi ko siya tula. Pero sorry, ha, naiyak ako kasi intense ng feeling eh. <laughs> Ang intense ng feeling ko and ng joy ko na may ganito. Because it's been hard for Filipinas ever since hanggang ngayon. And I'm really glad every time someone celebrates our gender and our strength. So I'll end with this poem. Sana ma-translate ko, kaya lang hindi ko siya na-translate kasi na-memorize ko lang siya sa English. So, I'll end with it. Um, the title, kukulaw ng tissue. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'll end with a poem called My IQ. <sighs> Because, you know, words will save us. When I was four years old, they tried to test my IQ. So they showed me a picture of three oranges and a pear, and they asked me, gang? Which one is different and does not belong? They taught me different was wrong. But when I was 13 years old, I woke up one morning. My thighs were covered in blood, like a war, like a warning, that, that I live in a breakable, takeable body, an ever-increasingly valuable body, that a woman had come in the night to replace me, deface me. You see, my body is borrowed. I got it on loan. For the time in between my mom and some maggots, I don't need anyone to hold me. I can hold my own. I've got highways for stretch marks. See where you've grown? I write sometimes like my life is at stake because you're only as loud as the noises you make. I'm learning to laugh as hard as I can listen because silence is violence in women and poor people. If more people were screaming, then I can relax. But a good brain is nothing if you don't have the facts. We live in a breakable, takeable world, an ever available, possible world. And we can make music like we can make do. Genius is in a backbeat. It's backseat to nothing if you're dancing, especially to something stupid, a measurement like IQ. For every lie, global women who rule, <laughs> or every lie we unlearn, We learn something new. For every lie Filipinos unlearn, we learn something new. We have to post online sometimes for this war that we fight because every tool is a weapon if you hold it right. Thank you for listening and thank you for inviting me. Celebrate women wherever you go. Mabuhay ang Filipina. <laughs>